Uh, hello and welcome to day five, Retro Labs West Scottish Adventure. Didn't do any driving yesterday. Um, had a bit of a rainy day. But today we're driving from our first hotel in Roybridge down to this uh, Glen Afton, no, Glen Darrell, sorry, um, in Argyll and Butte. Just about going through Glencoe at the moment. Stage 11 would see us driving from Roybridge to the Rest and Be Thankful viewpoint in the Argyle Forest Park, driving through Glencoe along the A82 and A83, a distance of 88 miles. This is the Retro Labs West Scotland Adventure. Right, this road, really quite different to the other roads we've been driving. It's quite strange stuff, not exactly bendy and that. The reason we're filming it it's because last time we came to Scotland for the little Scottish adventure, um, I thought this was probably the nicest <coughs> scenery on the whole trip, um, but we couldn't really, we didn't set the cameras up to record it. I only recorded a bit on my JVC um, and it kept going out of focus and stuff like that. It was raining, so it's quite difficult to see. But today, the weather seems to be perfect, so let's hope the cameras will pick it up and get good shots. Glencoe can be found on the edge of the Highlands in Scotland and forms part of the Ben Nevis and Glencoe National Scenic Area. The Glen is named after the River Coe, which runs through it. The mountains to our right are known as the Three Sisters of Bidian Nam Bian. I am going to go for the overtake. south then. track and a little bridge to our left.
Westonby Thankful Viewpoint can be found in Coalf on the Cowell Peninsula in the Arocca Alps. Nice little valley again, this time loads of trees about. The words rest and be thankful were inscribed on a stone near the junction of the A83 and the B828. This stone was originally placed there by the soldiers who built the original military road in 1753, but the original stone fell into ruin and has since been replaced by a commemorative stone at the same site. The viewpoint was named Rest and Be Thankful because of the long arduous climb up to it from Glen Crow. The road up to the viewpoint no longer follows the original route. Nearby is Loch Restall, which is a freshwater loch that lies between Glen Crow and Glen Kinglass in the Argyle Forest Park area of the Loch Lomond and the Trossachs National Park. We gave Stage 11 a score of 56.5 points because the road wasn't particularly exciting and there was a lot of traffic. The score of 56.5 points put Stage 11 into 8th position on our adventure leaderboard. The score is not enough to get Stage 11 onto our overall leaderboard. Thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please click the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any episodes of the Retro Labs West Scotland Adventure.